Hi and welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be looking at the brand new Grant Seeker tool. So this is brilliant for all you CIC owners out there and even a few charities as well. This is a brand new AI powered grant search and it also helps you write the grant and come up with the budgets and design projects, come up with project ideas, all of it. It's AI powered, it's brand new and it, more excitingly it was actually invented by one of my CIC tribe students. So this has actually come from our community which I'm super proud to say because what's really nice about this instead of like you know a lot of these grant seeker things and grant search tools that are already on the market this has actually been hasn't been just designed by some company who's just I've been asked to design it this has been designed by real CIC owners who felt the problems and the needs of CIC owners who listened to and understood what those challenges are that we have when we go for grant funding and when we're writing our grants and then they have created an AI powered solution so this is really great and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside it in a moment um, before I get into that though please hit the subscribe button for everything to do with CICs community interest companies grant funding being a social entrepreneur and all of that jazz and if you want to join my CIC tribe as a member then do go to the description and go and check that out our CIC tribe membership is an incredible membership full of wonderful CIC owners like the grant seekers team who actually do a monthly slot expert slots in the membership actually helping you guys with questions and related to finding grants and using their tools and stuff so and that's just one expert in CIC tribe we've got a whole bunch we've got people who are now going to be doing monthly slots within our tribe little zoom meetings every month um, on various different issues like grants finding grants writing grants doing all your other CIC elements as well like your social media um, and all kinds of other things so go and have a look and check that out now that aside so let's get into this so grant seeker is a new tool and I'm going to go and show you this in a second but just to say what are the main challenges that we have as CIC owners so what are they so one is people will set up their CIC they'll go for like the major grants that everyone knows about like the national lottery and then quite often they'll become stuck they'll hit a sort of a roadblock they'll think hmm, how do I find other grants maybe they'll start to do grant searches but they'll get quite confused, at, you know, they, they tend to open and close at different times, grants do, or they might only be eligible for charities and not CICs, or they might not be in their area, or they have different eligibility criterias. Finding grants can be tricky, and that is the problem that we've always had. I've always told people to, you know, go to their local councils, ask what's available, to do the usual Google search, and to look on these different grant finder platforms. But often a lot of the grant finder platforms are full of stuff that isn't relevant for you. And it is such a big undertaking of time to have to sift through all of these different grants. So it's not a great way to grant search. So what happens then? Well, what happens then is people are leaving grants on the table. They're not going and doing these searches because it takes a lot of work to actually go and find these grants. And then also then when they find them, they might not know what kind of projects are suitable. Maybe they'll not sure about what their ideas of what what they could do or maybe then they struggle with actually writing the application form because that's also a big barrier for many people is actually writing the application now back in the day before we had AI and all these other tools it used to take me a couple of days to write grants so especially like Arts Council and the bigger ones when I was running my CIC you know it was taking me a good few days to write these grants now I can do them because of AI and, and because obviously I know the grants so well, I can do them in just a couple of hours. So it's a huge difference when it comes to time. And what does that mean? That means we can apply for more, means we can apply with some confidence as well. Um, and it just really cuts down that time that us the CIC owners, which is unpaid, has to invest in actually keeping our CICs going. It also saves on having to pay people to bid right. I am not a fan of bid writers. I do a very minimal amount of bid writing myself. I could do loads. People ask me all the time. I don't because what I say to people is, look, I'll help you write the first one, but you need to then be empowered, use all my tools, use my membership, speak to our experts and actually write them yourself and use our AI tools and tools like Grant Seeker. So I try to empower you guys to write your own applications because it's really important that you do that yourself. Grant funders want you to do it yourself. 
they uh, obviously you need to learn to do it because you can't afford to just keep paying bid writers to write them and a bid writer doesn't know your project like you do and they're not going to be as invested so it's really important that you use these tools and are actually empowered to write these grants yourself because that's going to be more sustainable long term for your CIC. So without further ado let's get into the actual tool shall we let's go and have a look. So here we are on the Grant Seekers website so this is the first thing I love about this okay is you, you start by actually typing in your your company number your company's house number okay so you write in there your cic company's house number and then you press find a grant so what that does it actually goes to company's house it, it then finds the information about your cic and it gets it started so it'll immediately know where your cic is based and what it's doing because of the sit codes you've used so that's the first great thing it's going to know where you are so that's brilliant um, and uh, that just cuts down some for you. It'll also ask you another, a few other little questions as well. So what does Grant Seeker do? So it is a, first of all, it's a grant finder, um, and I'll look at the grant finding in a minute. So it does the actual search based on your criteria because it'll already know what CIC you are and where you're from. No others do that. So that's the first thing it does that no one else is doing. Next, it streamlines the applications for you. So you can make it streamline even more by putting in, say, what your project idea is and then asking it to find some. So you can uh, streamline it so it, it you know just hits what you need it to get and things that are relevant for you. The other thing it does, which is great, is it does a little bit of a financial analysis. So it will budget some templates as well. And, you know, if you try to do that with another AI tool, it's often not very good or they don't add up. Um, so this is a lot better and it actually helps you uh, justify the things on the grants and customise it. And it's got some great prompts for that. Um, so that is that's the basics of, of what it does. So if we go over to one I've prepared earlier so this is my CIC so I've put in here our CIC that's down here in Cornwall so here we are on my grant dashboard so it's identified that I could get 281 million in grants a total of 2,000 grants <laughs> so this is the first thing that like blows your mind about when you do this is it matches you to all these different grants okay so we're going to go to live grants because you don't want expired ones, um, but you can and you don't want the eligible ones. So it's filtered those two out, which is great. So this has gone to the live grants now. Now, what you can also do is you can ask it to look at a certain amount. So if you just want ones that are just a little a little grant, maybe you're looking for, you could look at some of the smaller ones um, or you could just put 50K plus. Bear in mind when you put in the 50K plus, obviously it will pull up stuff like um, heritage lottery which you could apply for for five million but obviously your CIC wouldn't necessarily get that because those are for organizations that are set up to take that kind of money a little CIC wouldn't be able to so just bear that in mind but anyway it's great that it searches all of them so it's brilliant so let's see what it's got here so now I, bear in mind I know the scene so I already know what's hot and what's not in Cornwall so I'm already know this and I'm already impressed that it's already found the ones that I've got some knowledge of um, social inclusion one feast which is a great arts grant which is fantastic i didn't actually know they did one just for festivals until i saw this so that was one that was a bit new on me and it's got some other great cornwall ones here so those are all the different cornwall ones and then it'll also um also show me uh, national ones as well um so you can ask it to show national ones as well so say i like them so if you don't like something you're like no that's not for me click that and then that'll affect the algorithm of it uh, but if you like it go yes and say I want to do this, but I don't know what kind of project idea. So say actually, I actually want to go for this one. So I'm going to click on this one. So I'm going to go here and it's got here some project ideas about stuff you could do. So you could then add that as a project. So say I want to do art therapy for vulnerable adults. And I'm like, yeah, that's the kind of thing that we like to do. Emotional expression, personal growth. That's exactly what we do. So I can then add that as a project. OK, so I can add that as a project. Here we are in my projects. I've now added that one. So now I can start to build that out. So it already knows now what I kind of want to do. Um, and it will it will actually go through and help me um, look at, you know, look at applying. Now, it can also do this thing if it knows the questions of the grant, then this one it doesn't. But sometimes it will know the questions of the grants and you can actually add them in because it's a community building tool. So if I go and apply now, I can actually add some of those questions in so the next person that comes along will know what questions it is. So they're populating this all of the time with the questions for the grants, which is great. Um, so then, because then you know those ahead of time. So I love that about it. So if I also go to my workspace 
Um, I these are the ones that I've saved that I know I want to apply for. Okay, so these are ones that I've already started working on. So if we go to build here, it's got the questions for the Sports England. So I know what those questions are. So I could start to work on that question and then I could start using the AI to actually help me write it. And if I fill in my project first of what I wanted to do, it'll already know that information as well. And the more information you give it, the more it's going to help you actually generate and write the questions. So that's great. So that'll write those. So then I can then go to the application and just copy and paste my answers in. So that's brilliant. So it, yeah, essentially just builds things up. So it's um, the great thing about it is also if you go to some of these other ones, if it can actually, you can fetch some data. I love this about it as well. You can fetch data off the internet on different things. So here, if you go to funding, it will tell you how much you can go for, which is great as well. Um, and it, you can start to put together a bit of a budget. So it will talk about, it's given me some examples here for what we could maybe apply for. Um, if we go for this grant, what we could what we could look at. And it talks about how we can justify it. Um, so that's really useful as well, because I know some of you, you know, you start doing this and you don't know what to do when it comes to actually, you know, filling in this stuff. And remember, it's only a guide, so you don't have to stick to it, of course. But um, I love the fact that it's 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 really got it right. That you've got project evaluation, bit of IT, organizational development, volunteer expenses, project staff, which is the main bulk of it, which is good. Bit of venue hire and equipment. So it's really good. So that's excellent. So yes, yeah, so you can click on the funding and find that. Go to info, you'll find out a bit more about what they want. So that is Grant Seeker. Isn't that amazing? So I, the things I love about this are the fact that it knows your project, it knows your CIC. So it's very custom, custom made the search. The search is great, really high powered. The fact that the search brings up so much more information. So I don't have to go to the website, start reading through all the information because it's just there. The information on the grant is just already there. So that's great. The fact that it then helps you write the grant as well, write the budget, justify it all. It's just brilliant. There's nothing else like this on the internet. You can also book a support call with these guys as well, uh, which is great. Um, so they've got a little calendar here and you can book a support call if you run into any trick, tri you know, if you wanna have a chat with them about uh, filling it in properly or just getting the most out of it. And they've also got some training videos and stuff, um, which they're, and they're gonna be building all this up as well. So isn't that amazing? So you're probably wondering how much is it? Uh, right, so if we go back to the main page and we go to pricings. So here it is. So you can try this free for three days, which is cool. So you can go on and get it started and try it. So that's great. So that'll show you what it looks like. And then if you want to stay with it and start building your applications, it's uh, 50 a month, which I think is extremely good considering a lot of AI is more than that. And this is a tool that's going to get you in tens of thousands of pounds. So 50 pounds a month is nothing. If you're gonna pay a bid writer, it's, it's, it's nothing in comparison. Uh, so I think it's really good. Also, I could get you 10% off, which is good. So if you look in the description, I can get you 10% off with the um, with my link, if you use my link and my code. Um, so that's cool. So I can get you 10% off. If you go for the year plan, you can also do this as an annual service as well. So if you wanted to do it as an annual service, it brings it down. So instead of it being like, um, 600 a year, if you use 10, you get 10% off if you buy it for the year, plus you get my 10% off. So effectively you get 20% off. So yeah, so that would be great. So if you want to bring the cost down quite a lot, get it for the year. So that's the Grant Seeker tool. So I hope that was useful having a little look at that. Isn't that interesting and how much technology is changing and how these things are gonna really help us, um, help us with our time, help us, you know, not spend out loads of money on grant writers. So I'm really chuffed about that. So if you want to go ahead and try it, the link is in the description and my code for 10% off is also in the description. So remember, if you're gonna sign up for the three days still make sure even if you're thinking i only did it free for three days still make sure you put the code my code in so you get 10 percent off because after the three days it will charge you and you want to make sure you get that 10 percent off so the link is in the description and i hope that was useful write in the comments what you thought of it so we can find out what the community is saying and if you have got any ideas of how it could be improved as well then let us know and i'll feed it back to the team and if you like this video and everything else to do with getting grants and all of these other tips, then please hit the subscribe button. And make sure you're subscribed for more of these videos. So that's the Grant Seeker tool. So I hope that was
was useful having a little look at that isn't that interesting and how much technology is changing and how these things are going to really help us um help us with our time help us you know not spend out loads of money on grant writers so i'm really chuffed about that so if you want to go ahead and try it the link is in the description and my code for 10 percent off is also in the description so remember if you're going to sign up for the three days still make sure even if you're thinking i only get to do it free for three days still make sure you put the code my code in so you get 10 percent off because after the three days it will charge you and you want to make sure you get that 10 percent off so the link is in the description and i hope that was useful write in the comments what you thought of it so we can find out what the community is saying and if you have got any ideas of how it could be improved as well then let us know and i'll feed it back to the team and if you like this video and everything else to do with getting grants and all of these other tips then please hit the subscribe button and make sure you're subscribed for more of these videos